Hello world, I just wanted to take about a minute here to go over my development setup with Docker on Windows. I am not running the Docker toolbox and I'm not running Docker for Windows. Instead, I'm running VMware in Unity mode, which allows me to run Linux applications and Windows side by side. Docker itself is actually installed directly into the VMware VirtualBox. So over here on the left, we have Sublime Text and a terminal as well as Chrome on the right. And all three of these applications are actually running inside of VMware, and I can move the windows around, everything is fine and dandy. And I can also bring up a Windows Explorer window. This is Windows right here, and now it's going away. So this is a pretty complex Rails app, at least in terms of assets. There are tens of thousands of lines of JavaScript, as well as dozens of SAS files. And if I open up my application SAS file here, you can see that I'm actually importing all of these different SAS files. There's a hell of a lot of SAS going on. So let me go to one of the HTML templates here, and I'll just add a couple of exclamation points and reload the page. Boom, there we go on the bottom. You can see that the update happened in pretty much real time. So if I add another edit here and just go back and reload as fast as I can, we can see the changes take place. And if we look at the terminal here, we can see that things reported back in about 75 milliseconds. And that's a Rails app because, hey guys, Rails is slow. Just kidding. Anyways, yeah, this is an example of how you can run Docker on Windows and actually have a very pleasant development experience. Thanks for watching.